Squid Squeeva here with another uh, YouTube video. And in this video, I'm going to be recording how do you make a website in under five minutes with a text editor and command and Windows command prompt. Well, that is the answer I'm going to be answering in this tutorial because I know there are people out there who are just simply lazy like me and don't really want to go through the hassle of making a blog site. So, the method I'm showing you works only with blog sites, but there are other methods that work with other websites. And the answer to all this, these questions is hexo.js. This is a Node.js package that you can install very easily. Um, so the first thing we need is Node.js. Uh, I'm going to put these commands in the description. Um, so yeah, the first thing we need to do is install um, the hexo.js. So just do hexo cli-g. That will install everything you want. And then once you've done that, you just do npm init blog. In this case, I'm doing a test blog. You hit enter, it creates that, and then you just uh, go into that, you know, thing. You do npm init, and, or no, install, and then uh, once you've done that, you can always do npm init if you feel the need. Uh, so I'm going to kind of fast. Um, I'm going to put all those commands in the description. Don't worry about a thing. Basically, what they do is they install Hexo, they create a blog, and they install all the server-side packages needed to run the blog. Uh, note, this is a static website and does not require any database work. So you do not need to create a database and edit anything to have a database. It's completely file-based. Which is very nice, and it's not—it's really nice because it's—it's not like using databases and dynamically doing it, but it's not just hard coding in the HTML. It's—it's it's the middle. It's in between. It's really nice. Okay, and then what you want to do is, once you've done all that, I believe you just do hexo server. Um, this will start the server, the Node.js server, and I will show you how to um edit this website because you see it's not very customized so I'll show you how to edit it so that'll be nice oh goodness gracious there we go okay let's go here I uh, can see I was actually editing it I made this video before but the sound wasn't on so yeah this is what it really looks like um, it just has the default post and this okay so now that we've done all of that we can go ahead and edit uh, don't worry about this right now go here this is how you create your posts. Um, it's pretty straightforward. There are really only three things you need to know. Um, title, which is the title. This here is a header. And this here is ordinary text. And this here is command line. Uh, you know, like code snippets. So, yeah. Let's create a new post. Uh, no. So I hit Control N. Uh, I'm using Adam, by the way. Control S. And this isn't like some fancy pantsy. Uh, this is, yeah, this isn't like some fancy pantsy editor that you know you need to get this working. It's just a text. It's just a fancy text editor. So uh, that's really all it is. You can you can use Notepad. I prefer Adam or Sublime though because you can see we have this nice. Uh, there up here. So, uh, oh, and this is good. This is actually a really good tool if you don't like coding as much as you like web design. So it kind of gives you that flexibility. Uh, anyways, um, or we can just do post 001.md. You save that. All right. Uh, ooh, keep waiting. Oh, and Adam is still in its alphas, alpha stages. You know, it's not that advanced. It's not that simple. Well, it's kind of in between. So uh, let's call this post uh, one hello world. Uh, let's create some header text. Hi, peeps. Or no. Let's call it hello. And let's have a, um, another text that says. Hey, peep, peps, peeps. 
okay and then let's just have no it's the uh the key i'm pressing is not the quotation it's the little thing on the top next to one that has a little squiggly line on it that's that's what i'm pressing because it took me a while to figure out that that's what i was supposed to do um oh yeah bash all right this is gonna just be uh um actually let me just call this hexo and install hexo okay here um i'm just gonna type in commands install hexo cli dash g Hexo init name C name. Oh, this is literally just a place. This is none of this is actually necessary. Um, and Hexo server. Okay, there we go. Those are commands. Uh, and then let's just do hashtag hashtag. Uh, that <sighs> there's nothing I hate more than sentences that aren't capitalized or correctly punctuated, which is weird for me because none of my sentences are cap capitalized or, or correctly punctuated. Uh, so, folks, okay. Well, we didn't even need to do that. We could have just. There we go. Now it's going. Can we go here? Hit a five. There we go. You see that we've got a new post and we've got, you know, home, we've got archives, we've got search, you know, we've got recent post. No title. Oh. Well, here's the other plan. Our contingency plan is literally just a copy and paste it from this document, which surprisingly enough sometimes works. Oh, I know what the error is. Maybe that, maybe not. Not entirely sure. Oh, it worked perfectly. I don't know what it was. Anyway, we can see we got a post here. Got hello world to hello world post, and actually, what we can do is we can just go in here and delete it. Move it to trash. Hmm, okay, I'm doing pretty well on time. There we go, we got one post. Hello world. Oh, well, yeah, you can see you got a hat footer, and you have all this other stuff. Anyways, um,. Now let's move on. So suppose you want to customize this a bit. I'm not going to go delving deep into too much customization, but this is pretty much the generic blog website. You can customize it beyond belief. Just do a whole bunch of fancy CSS without much server-side knowledge, and, you know, it's pretty nice. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to do really basic customization with changing this background, and that's about it. Because uh, I just want to show you how the, the flow of everything. So I got this here image off the internet. Um, you don't even need to download it, really. In fact, that's that's the hard way. Just copy the URL. Go here. Go into header. This is a SAS file. Uh, find banner. You can see here it says banner URL. Oh, no, that was delete. 
can just type that in. Go here, go here, reload. There you go! Now I got that banner image. And you can do a whole bunch of other stuff with uh, the SAS files. You, know, you can go here, get a whole bunch of stuff there. I mean, you really just need to change these. You can go to sidebar and change all the styling here. Uh, yeah, you can do a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, okay. Scaffolds. Really? You only need to worry about the... Uh, I mean, SAS is kind of like CSS. It's slightly like CSS. Um, yeah, and then if you want to make this website public after you've done editing, you can just push it to Heroku, and there you go. Alright, Squids, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Adios!